Hey guys, what's up? It's your girl Jamila and welcome back to my laboratory. So today we're going to make this super handy t-shirt alignment ruler using a Dollar Tree cutting mat. I'll have the links to everything I use in the description box below. If you like the video, you learned something new, make sure you give it a thumbs up, share with your friends and subscribe to my channel. All right guys, so the first thing we're going to do is go ahead and download our file. And I got this file from Etsy. I'm just going to go ahead and download this one. T-shirt ruler zip, save file, okay. open folder, and it's a zip file. So for Windows, I just need to make sure it's highlighted. Right click it and hit extract all. Extract. Okay, so now these are the files. So now that we have the files, let's go here over here to Cricut Design Space. So I'm in the new blank canvas on Cricut Design Space and we'll go ahead to upload, upload image. Let's go to our folder. And let's see, we're gonna look for where it says SVG over here. So we have a small one and I'm going to assume that's like a medium. So let's go with, let's just use the small for this video. So I'm just going to go ahead and drag and drop that SVG file over to, and then hit upload. Make sure it's highlighted and hit insert images. And so the width is almost 10 inches and the height is about 6 inches. That's about the dimensions of the Dollar Tree cutting board. So we don't need to make any change. Oh, wait one second. So it's all grouped. We're going to make sure we hit attach. Okay, now we can go ahead and hit make it. Dun, da, da, da. I think my computer froze. <laughs> okay, so this is our mat preview, and this is what it's going to look like on our 12 by 12 mat. And I'm just going to move it down just to like the one inch line because our cutting mat has like rounded edges a little bit. So I'm just going to move it down to like the one inch in move it, just going to move it to like the center right there just to be sure nothing is cut off. So now that I just made those small adjustments, I'm going to go ahead and hit continue. And we're going to turn the dial on our Cricut machine to custom. So for our custom material, we're going to go ahead and browse all materials. Hit, let's see. I wanted to do, let me see if they just have regular chipboard. Nope. Okay, so let's do light chipboard. And then we're just going to do more. And then we'll just go ahead and hit start on our machine and let it cut. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. So I did about five cuts until I was satisfied that it was able to actually cut all the way through. And once it did, I just go ahead and peel it away from my mat and then just poke the ruler out. And it came out pretty like clean. There's a few rough edges on the bottom that I just had to clean up. But in the file, there's like a few different sizes. Well, there's like two sizes. And honestly, the small works fine because like I'm going to show you right now, I'm using an adult large men's shirt. And as you can see, the center lines up perfectly with the shirt and it fits really well around the collar. So there you guys have it. As always, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you next time.